Wednesday, February 5th. Wait and found wanting. Read Daniel 5 13 to 28. 13 So Daniel was brought before the king, and the king said to him, Are you Daniel, one of the exiles my father the king brought from Judah? 14 I have heard that the spirit of the gods is in you and that you have insight, intelligence and outstanding wisdom. 15 The wise men and enchanters were brought before me to read this writing and tell me what it means, but they could not explain it. 16 Now I have heard that you are able to give interpretations and to solve difficult problems. If you can read this writing and tell me what it means, you will be clothed in purple and have a gold chain placed around your neck, and you will be made the third highest ruler in the kingdom. 17 Then Daniel answered the king, You may keep your gifts for yourself and give your rewards to someone else. Nevertheless, I will read the writing for the king and tell him what it means. 18 O king, the Most High God gave your father Nebuchadnezzar sovereignty and greatness and glory and splendor. 19 Because of the high position he gave him, all the peoples and nations and men of every language dreaded and feared him. Those the king wanted to put to death, he put to death, those he wanted to spare, he spared, those he wanted to promote, he promoted, and those he wanted to humble, he humbled. 20 But when his heart became arrogant and hardened with pride, he was deposed from his royal throne and stripped of his glory. 21 He was driven away from people and given the mind of an animal, he lived with the wild donkeys and ate grass like cattle, and his body was drenched with the dew of heaven, until he acknowledged that the Most High God is sovereign over the kingdoms of men and sets over them anyone he wishes. 22 But you his son, O Belshazzar, have not humbled yourself, though you knew all this. 23 Instead, you have set yourself up against the Lord of heaven. You had the goblets from his temple brought to you and you and your nobles, your wives and your concubines drank wine from them, you praised the gods of silver and gold, of bronze, iron, wood and stone, which cannot see or hear or understand. But you did not honor the God who holds in his hand your life in all your ways. 24 Therefore he sent the hand that wrote the inscription. 25 This is the inscription that was written, Mene, Mene, Tekel, Parson. 26 This is what these words mean, Mene. God has numbered the days of your reign and brought it to an end. 27 Tekel, you have been weighed on the scales and found wanting. 28 Perez, your kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and Persians. NIV What is the reason Daniel gives for the soon-to-come demise of this king? Forced by the circumstances, the king resorts to consulting Daniel. But he seems to do so with reluctance. This may tell more about the attitude of the king toward the God of Daniel than toward Daniel himself. In turn, Daniel's response to the king's offer of reward says a lot. About Daniel's priorities and character. It also is likely that Daniel, knowing the meaning of the mysterious words, realizes just how worthless the reward really is. Daniel then indicts the king on three counts. First, Belshazzar totally has ignored the experience of Nebuchadnezzar. Otherwise he would have repented and humbled himself like his predecessor. Second, Belshazzar has used the temple vessels in order to drink wine and to praise his idols. Here Daniel mentions the six kinds of materials used to make idols in the same order noted previously. Third, the king has neglected to glorify God, the one who holds your breath in his hand and owns all your ways, Dan. 523, NKJV. Having addressed the failures of the king, Daniel proceeds to the interpretation. Now we learn that the divine graffiti consists of three Aramaic verbs, with the first repeated. Their basic meaning should have been known to the king and his sages, Mene, counted, Tekel, weighed, and Perez, divided. With the Medo Persian army at the gates of Babylon, the king and the sages must have suspected some ominous meaning in that writing, but the sages do not dare to say something unpleasant to the king. Only Daniel proves capable of decoding the actual message into a meaningful statement in order to convey its full meaning to Belshazzar, Mene, God has numbered your kingdom, and finished it, Tekel, you have been weighed in the balances, and found wanting, Perez, your kingdom has been divided, and given to the Medes and Persians, Dan. 526-28, NKJV, emphasis supplied. Not exactly words of comfort and cheer. Judgment comes swiftly upon the king. How can we learn to trust God in cases in which, for the present, justice and judgment have not yet come? See Ecclesiastes 317, 811, Matt. 12:36 and Romans 14:12